Hey guys, welcome to the drop. I'm Neha. I'm Safia. I'm Maha. Season 8, episode 2 of Game of Thrones is out. And the sentence that sums it up perfectly is the thing we do for love. Jamie Lannister said it back in season 1, episode 1, and all these years later we're still pondering over it. Because we've got all of these characters in Winterfell and they're all motivated by love. What did you guys think? Absolutely. Um I feel that as a Game of Thrones fan, someone who's been following uh, the episodes since the get go, right? Whatever happened in the first two episodes was an anomaly of sorts because as opposed to the normal the normal um themes which were of violence and unprecedented violence and bloodshed and your favorite characters dying in the first two episodes the pace was very slow and all you could see was everyone forgiving each other so not that i'm vouching for violence here but it was something that deviated from what i'm normally what i'm accustomed to as a game of thrones fan right i would agree i mean i am so used to seeing gore and violence and to see like this whole family reunion it's it's great it's lovely but it gets a bit dull and boring yeah. and you want to see some action yeah. i think no i i definitely agree but i i certainly think that this episode had some great moments i mean yeah. the one that comes to mind right away is Sansa and Daenerys and their conversation the these two women who are sort of you know Daenerys reaches out to her and mm-hmm. we're going to be friends and they're talking and then all of a sudden the mask drops and Sansa's like what about the north yeah. and that was in uh, you could you could cut the tension with the knife and it yeah. was a very interesting display of manipulation and cunning and these two women playing the game of thrones i think finally people were agreeing they might just become friends and yeah. then she's like no yeah, what about the north yeah exactly and another one of the best scenes has to be brian's knighthood yeah. because that was that gave me the feels yeah. uh, did you guys Yeah, I think uh, there was a little bit of humor in it as well with uh, Tormund oh. and his clapping and celebrating and I think in such in all the tension there should be something like that, you know. Yeah, this there's this woman who has been fighting yeah. for this place as in the nights in the yeah. realms of the nights and she gets it finally yeah. and I think that that was so heart touching. But there were for me personally there were some scenes that didn't stand out that well and I have to bring it up guys I'm sorry I have no, to bring up Arya and Gendry Yes yeah such a such an unnecessary scene in my opinion Yeah I completely agree even though Arya has always been that character from the very start who hasn't been like Sansa right she's always been that person to be like I want to fight and I'm going to go out Back and I'm going to learn to fight yeah. right and i understand the, the the drive that you know like she wants something she's going to go and get it yeah. but somehow because this was her first time right i yeah. would expect it to be a little more i get it we all dying and let's you know make the most of our final moments but still i would have wanted there to be a little more substance before i saw arya become so the funny so. thing is i could have seen that thing happening between jamie and brienne but i yes. didn't see it happening like for me arya was never the character that was yeah. moved by you know physical love yeah. yeah so i i for me that was like one of the lower things it felt like it was stretched that, right yeah. yeah like it felt like it was so unnecessary that i think the scene could have done without yeah i would have had the same i would have had a better opinion of arya perhaps if she wasn't in that scene yeah, yeah. W- what did you guys think about john and daenerys john finally telling daenerys that you know i'm your nephew I just feel like like in the last episode. I feel that when they reveal things like you're a Targaryen, there's not enough emphasis. Yeah. You know, it's just again it's dull. Like, oh, okay, that's fine. No, it's not fine, you know. But how else could they have done it? This is a massive massive revelation. You they, there's you I'll tell you as, what the problem as humans is. you need a moment, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. And you you've got the Night King in the background yeah. background coming up. So, uh coming, you know, that there's a transition right there. What do you think is coming up next? I'll tell you something that I've noticed. It was not the problem was not an individual scene. It was a series of revelations that were just randomly thrown and made to fit in Merged these two together. episodes, right? Yeah. Like Sam's father and brother being killed, right? That was something that in my opinion also felt like okay, now he's grieving, okay, now he's fine, but now he's upset again. He goes up to join like, you know, she killed my uh, brother and my father. You're it thing yeah <laughs> so like it just felt like a series of revelations and i guess 
these things need time and the audience as viewers we deserve that time I, I yeah i will have to disagree a bit over there for me the why it felt so stretched out was because we have known this for two seasons now mm-hmm. i get it that they had to bring the characters up to the mark with that but we have known it for a while so for us i think one of the reasons why the episode felt so underwhelming was because we as viewers already knew what the characters were about to find out but uh, do you realize the reason that we were kept in the loop and they were not was because they were building up to something that when they finally get to know it's going to be like whoa yeah but it wasn't it wasn't it was like oh okay Yeah well well the next episode we know the battle yes. of Hindrafell yes. is coming up it's going to be directed by Miguel Sapochnik who directed the battle of the bastards and hard home to epic 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 battles mm-hmm. of the show i have great expectations so i do as well i think up? it's going to it's going to be we're going to be hit with a bang yeah. i think that I it's going to be blood murders every a lot of it. everything that we want you See, know I've, I've, we want do I've, we I've, <laughs> i've said that i want that blood and murder and gore but yeah. now honestly i'm scared because i think half the people we know and love in these episodes they're not going to make it no. yeah. the other side i don't think but actually you know what here's a game three characters you think are going to die okay i think probably gendry okay um maybe brian yeah and Jamie, <laughs> I agree exactly. I think Jamie is a dead man. Yeah, you know, I think that the reason that they made us forgive him and you know is everything. Is that it's okay? He's gonna and die. And he's a character that brings up so many different emotions in me. Yeah. Like he, he's done some bad things, but he he is redeemable. So I think Jamie's gonna die. I think Theon Greyjoy is going yeah, to maybe. join the dead, as is uh, Grey Worm. I don't mm-hmm. want any of them to die but you know it wouldn't be game of thrones if they you know yeah, all agree. lived. So guys, which three characters do you think won't survive the battle of Winterfell? Comment down below and let us know. We'll be back next week with the next episode of Game of Thrones. You were watching The Drop.